Nascent Iodine, Wikipedia Article Audio Nascent iodine sometimes known by the generic term atomic iodine or generic trademark name atomidine or by the misname detoxified iodine, is a liquid orally administered supplemental form of iodine, claimed to be in a nascent and monatomic state, originating from a 1931 Edgar Cayce formula. History and Development Edgar Cayce Manufacture Trademark Research Criticism The preparation was first conceived in 1931 by American Christian mystic Edgar Cayce in two channeled readings for an Indian inventor by the name of Shankar Biz who inquired about how to improve an iodine medicine. Casey regarded this specially formulated atomic iodine as far easier to assimilate than other forms. Casey recommended this atomic iodine or atomidine as a therapeutic measure, in over 600 readings. Extracts from some of his readings This will not only be a curative property, but a preventative, especially for any form of disorder in glands or tissue of body. And with the use of this product, a more equal balance is to be gained and maintained in the system but used properly. Reiterated throughout this body of information is its purpose, when taken orally, as a gland purifier and cleanser, especially affecting the thyroid, thymus, adrenals and other ductless glands, and stimulating the circulation through lungs, heart, liver and kidneys. This reaction upon the glands would create perfect coordination between the glandular forces of the body and build strength to the whole anatomical condition of the body. Another reading stated that most glands function as machinery would under oil. The iodine being the oil for the gland, see. Edgar Cayce gave two separate readings for Shankar Biz and gave him directions with two different manufacturing methods. Today, Cayce's prescribed atomic iodine is made in different ways by different manufacturers, and is generally named nascent iodine, atomic iodine, or detoxified iodine, each with different interpretations of the Edgar Cayce readings in which it was first recommended. Some manufacturers mix nascent iodine with other supplements in the bottle, which would bond when this free form of iodide is exposed to a positively charged ion, such as sodium or potassium, as it would be in a liquid supplement, it will bind with these to form sodium iodide or potassium iodide, basically nullifying its nascent state. The name Atomidine is an unregistered trademark of the Heritage Store. Their formula contains iodine in the form of iodine trichloride and aqueous solution, which is treated with several herbal compounds. The name Atomic Iodine is an unregistered trademark of Bar Products, Inc. Bar is the official supplier of A.R.E.S. Edgar Casey Healthcare. Bar atomic iodine is made with 1% iodine trichloride in aqueous solution, with an added proprietary blend of herbs. The name Detoxadini is a registered trademark of Global Healing Center. Their formula is made of elemental iodine in glycerin aqueous solution. They state historically, Nascent iodine has been made using electricity to break iodine's diatomic bond and create a single, highly energized atom. However, it is difficult to use this method on the scale necessary to produce sufficient quantities. They use nanoemulsion technology for their iodine formula. Alex Jones S. Infowars Life brand uses the same formula. The name Magnuscent is a registered trademark of John Brookshire, owner of the 2004 nascent iodine patent. LOL Magnetic Clay nascent iodine is also based on his patent.
Other patented applications of nascent iodine are produced chemically or through electrolytic means or by laser, and their half-life is very short and none of them are a consumable form of nascent iodine. While the improvement recommended by Casey is produced electromagnetically and is consumable. The consumable nascent iodine hypothesis is that splitting of the diatomic bond through homolytic cleavage then each atom becomes paramagnetic in nature, able to take magnetic charging. If this charge is sufficient to keep the atom from entering the nascent state until the energy is discipated through electromagnetic relaxation, such as water, then there is a period of activation or usefulness to the body, of two or three hours. A 2016 spectroscopic study of Brookshire nascent iodine concluded this work clearly demonstrates differences in absorbance of nascent and raw iodine. Decreased absorbance of magnescent registered trademark iodine supports the hypothesis that that the diatomic iodine has been homolytically cleaved into monoatomic iodine because of the electromagnetic process. Brookshire patented nascent iodine tincture formulated according to Casey's reading number 358-1, showed efficacy both as a therapeutic and chemoprophylaxis agent against malaria in a 2012 clinical trial. In 1929 the FDA Bureau of Chemistry stated on adamidine advertised health claims as far as our records go. All of these claims are without a scintilla of printed scientific evidence to substantiate the claim that adamidine is superior or even the equal to tincture of iodine. Biologist Wojciech Reichlich in an article for orthomolecular.org about iodine supplementation, wrote. The diatomic form of elemental iodine I2, has no electrical charge. Monoatomic iodine also has no electrical charge, but is unstable and highly reactive. It can be produced by exposing I2 to ultraviolet light. Electric and magnetic fields won't do it, as is sometimes incorrectly suggested. I should mention a few points about Edgar Cayce's adamidine. This famous visionary wrote several articles about the best form of iodine supplement. Some claim that this was iodine trichloride, but that cannot be true as this compound is toxic by ingestion and damaging to mucous membranes. It decomposes to ICL and poisonous gas Cl2 at 77 degrees C and also in water at room temperature. Most likely Casey's adamidine was simply a 1% iodine solution in 95% ethanol. I am surprised that there are educated people, even medical doctors who claim that elemental monoatomic iodine preparations are the best forms of iodine supplements. Maybe it has something to do with efficient marketing? Elemental iodine is soluble in glycerin. Replacement of ethanol with glycerol indeed makes these supplements more consumption-friendly, so they are sold by some vendors as superior products to Casey's ethanol-formulated one. Personally, I think glycerol-based I2 supplements are inferior to iodides, however, they are excellent antiseptics. The best and safest form of iodine supplementation for a healthy adult is iodide. Iodides are naturally produced in larger quantities by various seaweeds. Reading number 358-2, in a 3-gallon bath, 16 ounces of iodine is bathed for 5 minutes in an electromagnetic field of 10 amps of resistance. This method produces the weaker less active detoxified iodine W slash added energy but the percent of monoatomic iodine is much less. It allegedly was born out of Casey's frustration from Beezy's complaints that the 358 to 1 took too much time and money. This method is much faster and cheaper, using weak electromagnetic fields and much shorter exposure times with no heat buildup. Reading number 358 to 1, 
in a one gallon bath, just one ounce of iodine is bathed for 15 20 minutes in an electromagnetic field with a current of 30 amperes. This method produces the stronger, more active atomic state using a stronger electromagnetic field and longer exposure times, which needed stabilizing it after cooling. It yields smaller amounts of finished product per batch, but is significantly more active than the plain 358 to 2 method. This second method, it was theorized, achieves a nascent state of iodine by breaking the diatomic bond and elevating the energy of the iodine atom.